That right there is the 40 something mile road to Gerlock. And I'm gonna be driving it today from Ullapool. A very good afternoon from the Scottish Highlands and the NC500, that road is part of it. I'm gonna be following it around the bay, as I said, and stopping a few times, I'm sure, to see some of the many sights that are along the road itself. I'm also gonna be looking at a little bit of Scottish history, so if you're interested in that and you wanna see some scenery and you wanna check out the ultimate road trip, then watch on, because this is gonna be one heck of an adventure, I'm sure. So if waterfalls and incredible viewpoints are your thing, this is going to be a good road for you. There's the duster that's getting me around, it's done wonders so far. I just stopped here out of chance really, I'm only a couple of minutes on from where I started the video. But I saw and heard this incredible crashing waterfall. There's an old stony rocky river down in the valley and there is some waterfalls in the center but also up from where i was look at that that is amazing Just spotted some rapids from the side of the road. I'm not sure what that sign says. Little gateway here to access it. And this is what I love about this Scottish road trip is that you're just driving along and minding your own business and suddenly you just spy out the corner of your eye something like this. So you can then spend 10, 15 minutes coming down, having a look. What an amazing river, full of boulders and rocks. Fast flowing around the corner there. I'll see if I can get a shot of that. Here it's just quieter and lazier. But look at that, I wonder if I can, actually I wonder if I can. <laughs> Let's see, aha, oh yeah see if I can get to the corner there because like I said the rapids were just intense there we go and oh, I can't get any further than that but there they are I love the sound thundering through the valley here so as I forage my way through the undergrowth here I wanted to tell you a little bit about Scottish history and where the word Scotland actually came from because I wanted to understand it myself. Oh, look at this. Looks like a spooky, ghostly forest. Haunted, maybe. I wouldn't want to stay here overnight. Although it looks like somebody has. There's a campfire here. Maybe we've had some campers out here in the last few days. Well, I'm going to head in that direction. And uh, as I was saying, the word Scotland comes from the Latin word Scotia. And the Latin word Scotia 
means the land of the Scots. The Scottish people that uh, settled here were from originally Ireland, a Celtic people from Ireland, and they settled here in Western Britain, I guess maybe a little bit further north than the current boundary of England and Scotland. And they settled here in about the 5th century current era. So about 1500 years ago. I have also heard the name Caledonia thrown about. And it turns out that what Caledonia means, it was actually a, a word that was given to the region by the Romans. The Romans settled just south of where I am, or they certainly had some tribes here. They never made it as far north as the Highlands, but they, I think, did come up into current day Scotland. And I'm just looking now at these incredible rapids again. This is Scotland. Well, I think I'm gonna walk back along the river here if I can get out and uh, then head back to the car and hit the road again. And I've stopped again. I was just driving along this incredible route that zigzags its way along the coast here in Scotland. This is definitely what I came for. And I started seeing all of these islands out at sea. And so I looked it up and it turns out that Scotland has hundreds of islands off its coast. And they are split into four categories. I don't know if that's the right word for them, but you've got the Inner Hebrides, the Outer Hebrides, the Orkneys and the Shetland Islands. And all together, there are 900, believe it or not. There's the road I just came along, the NC500. And uh, sure enough, it's starting to rain again. It has gone from sunny to rain three or four times now on this, uh, on this road trip today. So, my journey along the NC500 continues. I'm about 20 miles now from Gerlock, so I'm gonna get back in the car, back in the dry, and continue on. Running from all things at once Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to lead my mind Ooh, This road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time Alright, so I'm looking down at a number of small communities One of which, over on the left side of the shot I think, is Gerlock But rather than stopping now, I'm going to continue on There's a waterfall about 20 minutes past Gerlock I want to visit before coming back and then checking into my hotel Gone and I grew up and somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are and if you found a way out from the dark mm -hmm. The stories I've been told, they never seem to leave my mind this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time mm -hmm. You 
can't beat a mini adventure on the road trip. Victoria Falls, 150 meters to the left there. So that is not very far at all. 150 meters shouldn't take me just a couple of moments to walk along here. So I'm getting now down towards Torridon where I'll be heading tomorrow. And um, there is a, a map online where you can check out the midgey forecast. So the midges are like, they're like mosquitoes, tiny little mosquitoes um, that will bite you and suck blood. And they are prevalent here in Scotland. And um, you don't often get them. I, uh, you don't get them at altitude and you don't get them when there's a lot of wind because they, they can't fly against the wind when the wind speed is more than I think five miles an hour. But it is still this evening. It is damp and it is fairly mild. So I think they're favorable conditions for those midges. And hopefully I won't see any or feel any or be bitten by any, but you can never rule it out. So I've got my DEET in my bag. I've put some on already. And here we go, we're at the viewing platform. That was quick. There we go. Victoria Falls, here in the Scottish Highlands. Nobody else here. Made it back to Gerlock. And uh, this looks like a war memorial of some description. 1914 I can see on there. So that's World War One. And it's got a very prominent place right here on the coastline. See a beach down there actually. Looks nice. This is a very popular summer destination and it's also a uh, very common place to stop on the NC500. The only thing that I can tell you that may be of interest is that the name Gaelic comes from Gaelic and it means short lock. So guessing this is a lock here and that's where the name comes from. There's a church just down there, so I might just stroll down and see if I can see it any closer. Just across from the church is my hotel for the night. The Gerlock Hotel, I think it's called. Let's go and check in and check it out. The road to Gerlock ends right here at the Gerlock Hotel. And before I call it a day, I'm gonna give you a quick room tour and then tell you how much I paid for this hotel. This is the bathroom, or the shower room as it turns out. This was the cheapest accommodation I could find in the region, believe it or not. Basic room. We have a bed, a wardrobe, a desk, a chair, a small television. We've got the coffee and the kettle. Not much of a view out there. I'm around the side of the building, but you can just about see a, a hill just next to the hotel there. And so the hotel comes with free parking outside, free Wi-Fi, and a free cooked breakfast in the morning. And all of that has cost me, as I said, this is the cheapest deal I could find for the area, 60 pounds for tonight, which I didn't think was too bad. Um, I was hoping to hit below 50 pounds, but that's fine. This will do me perfectly well for tonight. Some funky wallpaper. Picture of Inveray Castle. I've not heard of that. I don't think I'm gonna be visiting on this trip, but in any event, tomorrow is gonna to be a big one. Tomorrow was supposed to be split into two days, but because my flight got canceled and brought forward a day, I'm having to do Gerlock to the Apple Cross Pass via Torridon and then on to Inverness all in one day. So I'll make another two videos probably, otherwise again, it will end up way too long, but it's gonna be a fantastic end 
to the trip. So once again, thanks very much for watching the video. Thanks for watching the series. If you've stuck with me over the last few episodes, it has been a really enjoyable experience driving the NC500 around the Scottish Highlands. Well, thanks very much, as I said, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Good night from the Highlands. Bye.